Hi, I'm here with Lindsay Adams. You're the CEO and founder of... The Lifestyle Millionaire. I'm Lindsay Adamson. So, Lindsay just gave a, a fantastic talk here at Mega Branding. And probably the part that connected with me the most was when you described your transition from your high paying corporate job to becoming a yoga teacher in Costa Rica. Could you tell us about what inspired you to make that transition and what motivated you to make that big leap? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so just a little piece of background, I started working for the company when I was 19. I was in my second year of university. And after about the third day on the job, it was a commission-based sales job. Um, I was averaging over $500 to $1,000 a day every single day that I worked for the company. And so you can imagine that as a 19-year-old, that's pretty exciting. Um, and I worked for the company for eight years. Uh, I ended up being the national sales director for the company and I would travel between all of the locations uh, training staff and employees on sales, boosting the sales for each location and I was running my own program for the company. I was making amazing money, um, most higher than most people my age. <laughs> um, the thing is that you, you really have to come to a point where you ask yourself, is this all that I want from life? Money was my main driving force and motivator to continue to work for that company. But there were so many things that I had to sacrifice. I mean, I went a few years missing out on about four or five weddings from some of my, my close friends and family members, the birth of babies, holidays, birthdays. And I let my own health get sacrificed because I didn't really have time to eat properly. Um, there's just so many things that like give you zest in life that I didn't have time to do. And, and the money was great, but money isn't gonna make you happy forever, you know what I mean? And so I came to a point where I just decided that I needed to take a break, get away, and then regroup and decide how I could use the skills that I had formed and developed to start my own business. Because you can only really take it so far within a certain company before you've kind of gotten all that you can out of it. And I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I mean, I was born and raised to be that way. And so it's all about living your purpose. And you don't have to sacrifice your life just because you want to pursue wealth. You can have both. So what's really fascinating about your story is that you already had eight years of building teams, um, perfecting your sales skills, and just actually doing work. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of people out there that want to be entrepreneurs now, mm -hmm. who maybe don't have that same level of corporate experience. What advice would you give to those people? I would definitely say um, have a mentor or a coach. Um, I have always had mentors and coaches, and that's what helped really skyrocket my skill set. Um, within my old company and since then. Um, that, that's what I do. Um, I help people take an idea or, or a passion that they have and to develop it into a business, a successful one that's gonna make them money but also allow them to live the life that they want. So I would say write down and become very familiar with what it is that you want from life and then get a coach to help you work through the systems to get that. Fantastic, Lindsay. Uh, one more time for our viewers, if they want to contact you, Absolutely. how can they do that? So you can find me under Facebook, under Lindsay Adamson, or find my page, The Lifestyle Millionaire. And you can visit my website, www.lindsayadamson.com. Is Adamson with two Ds? No, it's A-D-A-M-S-O-N. Thank you. Thank you very much.